Did you know that at least 5% of adults in America don't have a bank account? That means that they're storing their hard-earned money in a piggy bank, under a mattress, or... Uh, whatever that's called. This is our secret spot. It's very secure. Are you sure? Yep. <laughs> totally. Well, most individuals and businesses store their money with a financial institution for safekeeping. They deposit it in and withdraw it out whenever they need. Have you considered using a bank or a credit union? What's the difference? Mm -hmm. Banks help protect your deposits from fraud and theft and offer access to all kinds of services, like lots of branch and ATM locations, online banking, special accounts, credit and debit cards, and even big loans for cars, houses, or starting a business. They're for profit and make their money mainly through various service fees and the interest charged on loans. Credit unions are similar to banks, but are usually exclusive to specific regions or industries, like firefighters, teachers, or farmers. Unlike banks, credit unions are generally non-profit, so they tend to have fewer products beyond the basic accounts, cards, and loans. But since they aren't under pressure to make a profit, they're able to offer their members a better deal when it comes to fees and interest rates. Are both banks and credit unions safe? Like anything in life, there is never no risk. But government regulations set important rules for financial institutions, which helps make them more trustworthy. And even if your deposits are somehow impacted by theft or loss, the U.S. government insures up to $250,000 to banks through the Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation, also known as the FDIC, and to most credit unions through the National Credit Union Administration, or NCUA. This all adds up to a dependable banking system, which means your money is better protected and easier to manage. That's something Mr. Piggy just doesn't offer. Sorry. <sighs> Almost every financial institution offers checking accounts and saving accounts. A checking account is where your deposits and withdrawals generally happen. Sometimes there's a minimum deposit requirement. A savings account is for, you guessed it, saving your money. Usually you earn a little extra money in this account thanks to interest, but you may be limited in how often you can make withdrawals. Credit unions tend to pay higher interest rates than banks into your savings account. Additionally, most employers are able to directly deposit your paycheck into your bank or credit union account. That saves you the trouble of having to manage the cash or check yourself. For simple account needs like deposits and withdrawals, you don't have to wait in a long line during banking hours. Automated teller machines, or ATMs, are convenient ways for you to access your account on your own at any time. Banks tend to have more ATMs in more locations than credit unions. So do I need to withdraw cash every time I go shopping? Nope. Once you've got an account, you'll probably get a debit card. These handy little cards link directly to your checking account and allow you to pay for things using the money that you have available without having to actually carry the cash. Spending more than what you have in your account will result in penalty fees, though, so be careful. All right, all right. How do we get started? First, determine your financial needs. If you need access to more locations and ATMs, or you like doing your money management online, then a bank may be better for you. If your needs are pretty basic and you prefer better rates and more personalized customer service, then a credit union may be your best choice. Second, get the details. Once you've picked your financial institution, make sure you understand any fees, limits, or perks that come with the account you want to open or cards you want to use. This will help you manage your money more carefully and avoid surprises. Third, manage and monitor. Take advantage of any helpful money management tools or advisors that your financial institution makes available to you. Keep an eye on your accounts, and if you see any suspicious activity, notify someone at your bank or credit union. That's why your money is there, so they can help you protect it. Choosing what financial institution best fits your needs is a personal decision. And when you find that right fit, you'll be able to manage your money with greater convenience and have confidence that a bank or credit union is keeping it safe for you. Watch more at PragerUKids.com. And parents, don't forget to subscribe.